So I just finished working on this Grundig uh, console chassis. Not quite sure what uh, model it is, but I've got some similar schematics, so I managed to figure it all out in the end. I just uh, finished the uh, alignment on uh, both FM and AM. It's on the um, the upper shortwave band at the moment, tuned to 15 megahertz. WWV coming in there on a small mag loop antenna. Not too strong, it's about uh, noon um, on an autumn day. So uh, WWV doesn't tend to come in too strong at this time of day. Um, not too bad though. It's receiving on all bands, um, broadcast band. <laughs> there was a time whereby he probably, or they, whoever they are, picks up a bit of hum in the workshop here. It's on the uh, yeah, ferret rod rock, antenna. Right? Like rock Bay was That's on the uh, mag loop antenna. Yet a brewery goes in there. Strangely, on this model, you can't rotate the uh, the ferret rod. So uh, if it's not orientated correctly, you're not going to get good reception. A lot of these models, or the higher end ones, have a front panel control which allows you to rotate the ferrite rod for best reception, but this one doesn't. It's just got an on off uh, indicator for the uh, ferrite rod. FM is really good. Um, it hasn't got a stereo decoder, but the FM tune is excellent. And the audio is superb. Just got it through a couple of realistic speakers. It's got um, stereo audio for the uh, for the phono input and the tape recorder input. An interesting multisonic setup here, which you can actually see the little total so much bass emphasis that uh, these little speakers can't handle it. So I turn the turn the bass down a little bit to indicate us there. Uh, sort of like a very early form of graphic equalizer. It's kind of cool and it, it all works well. This the highest one here actually alters the coupling in the IF transformers which is really neat. And you've got uh, jazz setting, voice setting, orchestra setting and you can switch on to mono. It's very uh, very good. Then you've got tape recorder pickup and the ferrite rod antenna controls. It's uh, pretty good. Uh, pretty good radio. The um, the AM bands benefited quite a bit from the the alignment, especially the broadcast band. It's not ultra sensitive on broadcast band, but it's not too bad. You know, it's good. It meets its spec about uh, twelve microvolts. And the uh, shortwave bands are pretty sensitive, actually. They they go uh, two or three microvolts and can still hear an AM signal, which is pretty good for a radio like this. I haven't got an antenna on the uh, the FM at the moment. So it would be really good with an antenna on there. And it covers from about 87 megahertz through to about 109 megahertz which is great and the the dial's pretty accurate so there we go an unknown uh, grundig chassis from about 1959